An energy emergency in effect tonight across the state due to a shortage of propane. Megan O'Rourke is digging deeper into the problem and is live with what she's learned. Katie, the governor's office is blaming the recent cold temperatures on the shortage. But this afternoon, I went to a local company and officials there tell me, yes, it is playing a part, but it's just one small fraction of what they call the perfect storm. We want to get it wherever we can get it at this point. With propane in short supply tonight across the Midwest, drivers here at Collette Propane have traveled as far as North Carolina in recent days to fill up. But instead of three or four shipments daily, the Xenia based company has been allocated just six the entire week, meaning there's a lot less gas to go around to the company's 7,000 customers counting on propane to heat their homes. We as a company are worried about getting everyone something. As long as there's something there, uh, our customers won't have to worry. Call it propane vice president David Wedderburn tells me starting today the company is making changes. Only tanks below 20% will be filled, and even then, only up to the 20% mark. And we feel like that's not going to be a lot of gas, but it's like I said, it's going to get you through some cold periods, and we're going to be able to go back and, and, and get more gas in those tanks before five weeks. We're not going to let, we're not going to, we're going to figure out a way not to let those tanks go bare. Wetterburn says the shortage is threefold, brought on by below normal temperatures. A wetter than normal summer and fall that resulted in large amounts of propane being used on area farms to dry out crops and exporting too much propane out of the U.S. to countries like China. Say if the situation continues as it is, at the consumption that's happening, in a month if this cold continues, could we be in a real tight spot? <clears throat> I would say yes, if this perfect storm continues. It's a process, and uh, believe me, there's a lot of people involved in it now. I, I just want to emphasize that we're, we're doing what we can to get, we'll work 24 hours a day to get people their gas. Now, in order to preserve propane, officials tell me there are a few things that you can do. They say drop that thermostat a few degrees and use extra blankets and clothing to stay warm at night. Also, make sure you have proper insulation and no drafts around windows or doors. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.